Have you ever wondered how the milk you drink every day is produced? It's a fascinating journey, a complex dance of nature and technology that ensures the creamy beverage you pour over your morning cereal or stir into your coffee is safe, nutritious, and delicious. From the humble farm to the state-of-the-art processing facilities, every step is crucial in bringing this staple of our diets to our tables. But what exactly happens in this process? Stay tuned to find out how this everyday beverage makes its way from the farm to your fridge. Our journey begins with a dairy cow on a farm. Picture a serene landscape, lush green pastures, and a friendly bovine creature, our beloved dairy cow. These gentle animals are the primary source of the milk that we enjoy in our daily lives. But how does this milk go from being a part of the cow to being a part of your breakfast table? Let's delve in. The process of milking a cow is a delicate and critical step in ensuring the quality of the milk we consume. This process can be done either manually or by using a milking machine. When done manually, the milker begins by cleaning the cow's udder with warm water and a gentle cleanser. It's an age-old practice that requires skill, precision, and a gentle touch. The milker then grasps the teat, applying pressure from the base towards the tip, and voila, milk begins to flow. On the other hand, milking machines mimic the natural milking action of a calf and can milk many cows simultaneously. The machine uses a pulsating vacuum that gently extracts the milk, ensuring the process is comfortable for the cow and efficient for the farm. Once the milking process is over, our fresh, warm milk is then collected. But it's not quite ready for your cereal bowl yet. The raw milk is immediately cooled down to around 4 degrees Celsius in a large, refrigerated tank. This rapid cooling helps to preserve the milk's freshness, keeping it free from harmful bacteria and maintaining its rich, creamy taste. This cooling tank also acts as a storage unit, making sure the milk is kept in optimal conditions until it's time for it to leave the farm. The milk stays in this refrigerated haven until it's loaded onto a truck and transported to a dairy processing plant. Now that we have our raw milk, it's time to prepare it for consumption. And so our journey from cow to collection ends. But the adventure of milk transformation is just beginning. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the fascinating journey of milk production. Once collected, the milk embarks on its journey to the dairy processing plant. This isn't just a simple trip down the road though. There are a few vital steps to ensure the milk remains fresh, safe, and ready for us to enjoy. The first part of this journey involves transportation. Our milk is moved in refrigerated trucks specifically designed to keep the milk at an optimum temperature, usually around 4 degrees Celsius or 39 degrees Fahrenheit. This not only preserves the milk's freshness, but also prevents the growth of harmful bacteria that can spoil the milk. These trucks aren't just any old refrigerated vehicles either. They're stainless steel tankers, carefully cleaned and sanitized before each use. This is to ensure that nothing but the purest, freshest milk makes its way to the dairy plant. Upon arrival at the plant, the milk isn't just unloaded and processed straight away. No, it has to pass a rigorous testing process first. This is the second part of the journey, the testing. The dairy plant's laboratory technicians play a crucial role here. They're like the guardians of milk quality. They test the milk for a variety of things, including the presence of antibiotics and harmful bacteria. This is incredibly important. After all, we don't want any unwanted substances in our milk, do we? The technicians also check the milk's temperature, its acidity, and its butterfat and protein levels. These checks ensure the milk not only tastes great, but also meets the nutritional standards we've come to expect. If the milk passes all these tests, and only if it passes, it's deemed ready for the next stage. This is where the real transformation begins, where the milk starts its journey to become the products we know and love, like creamy butter, rich cheese, and refreshing ice cream. And so, after passing the quality checks, the milk is ready for processing. It's been a fascinating journey so far, hasn't it? But trust me, there's still plenty more to come. So, let's move on to the next stage of our dairy adventure. The next steps are crucial for ensuring the milk's safety and consistency. Firstly, let's dive into pasteurization. This process was named after the French scientist Louis Pasteur, who discovered that heating beer and wine was enough to kill most of the bacteria that cause spoilage, preventing these beverages from turning sour. 
This principle applies to milk as well. Pasteurization involves heating milk to a specific temperature for a set period. The most common method, known as high temperature short time HTST, heats milk to 162 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 seconds. This process kills harmful bacteria such as Salmonella, E. coli, and Listeria that could potentially make you sick. But pasteurization does more than just ensure safety. It also helps to increase the milk's shelf life, allowing you to enjoy that glass of milk longer. After pasteurization, we move to homogenization. This might sound like a complex term, but the concept is rather simple. Homogenization is a mechanical process that breaks down the fat globules in milk so they stay integrated rather than separating and floating to the top as cream. Without homogenization, you'd have to shake your milk vigorously before every use to mix the cream back in. But thanks to this process, the fat globules are reduced in size and dispersed evenly throughout the milk. This gives the milk a uniform consistency and appearance. Moreover, it also enhances the texture and taste of the milk. Homogenization makes the milk feel creamier in your mouth and allows the flavor to be distributed more evenly. So the next time you pour yourself a glass of milk, remember the journey it's been on. From the cow to your cup, it's undergone a series of processes, each crucial in its own way, to ensure it's safe, delicious, and nutritious. With these processes, the milk is now safe to drink and has a smooth, consistent texture. The final steps involve getting the milk ready for the consumer. Now that our milk has been carefully collected, tested, and treated, it's time to package it up and send it out into the world. Packaging is an essential part of milk production, as it ensures the milk's freshness and quality. The process starts with bottling or cartoning depending on the type of product. This is a highly automated process with machines filling each container with just the right amount of milk. It's a mesmerizing sight with hundreds of bottles or cartons being filled every minute, each one destined for a breakfast table or a school lunch box. But it's not enough to just fill the containers. Each one needs to be sealed properly to keep the milk fresh and safe from contaminants. This is where the importance of a good sealing process comes in. Whether it's a twist cap, a pull tab, or a simple carton fold, each seal is designed to keep the milk inside fresh and tasty until it reaches your glass. Now, with the milk safely packaged and sealed, it's time for distribution. This involves transporting the milk to stores and supermarkets, ensuring it reaches the consumer in the best possible condition. The milk is loaded onto refrigerated trucks, which keep it at the optimal temperature during transit. These trucks crisscross the country, delivering fresh milk to stores big and small. But distribution doesn't end at the store. It also involves stocking the milk in the right section of the store, usually the refrigerated section, where it's easy for consumers to find. And of course, the final step of distribution is when you, the consumer, pick it up from the store shelf and take it home. And there you have it. The milk is now ready to be purchased and enjoyed. From the dairy farm to your fridge, every step in this process has been carefully designed to ensure the milk you drink is fresh, safe, and delicious. So, that's the journey your milk takes from the farm to your glass. It all starts with our bovine friends in the dairy farm, where state-of-the-art technology aids in milking them in a stress-free environment. This milk is then collected with utmost care to ensure its freshness and quality. Once the milk has been collected, it embarks on its journey to the processing plant. Here, it undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it meets the highest standards of quality and safety. Any milk that doesn't pass this stringent testing is swiftly discarded, ensuring that only the best quality milk makes it to the next stage. This is where the magic happens, the pasteurization and homogenization process. Pasteurization, named after the scientist Louis Pasteur, involves heating the milk to kill harmful bacteria. Homogenization, on the other hand, breaks down the fat globules in milk, giving it a smooth, consistent texture. After this, the milk is ready to be packaged. Whether it's a carton, a plastic bottle, or a glass jar, the packaging is designed to keep the milk fresh and safe from contamination. The milk is then distributed to various outlets, supermarkets, grocery stores, and perhaps even your doorstep ready for you to enjoy. Next time you enjoy a glass of milk, remember the intricate process that brought it to you.